Hey guys, Abraxas here, and uh, I got a suggestion from a lot of people asking me to make my own, like, kind of solar system sort of thing. So, I went ahead and did that. Uh, I didn't record myself doing it or anything like that, I just went ahead and made it, and I wanted to show you guys. So, there's a star, and we I added a gas giant actually close orbiting to the star. I call it Plutonium, or Planet 9. So... Yeah, because our solar system is actually missing a gas giant in the center, or closer between the orbits of Mercury and the Sun. I decided to add it in. This is the Planet 9, quote-unquote, of the solar system that was possibly ejected out in the uh, early days of the solar, si solar system's beginning, so, yeah. Also a proto-system, as you can see here. I do have rings actually orbiting around this star, so, very nice. And here is... Proto becoming a planet Pluto. It is Pluto inside this little asteroid belt. Collecting all these little asteroids and becoming a planet, so very nice. Now if I zoom out here, we have... Ah yes, a planet that I actually messed up on. I call it uh, Broken Runaway Greenhouse Effect Pluto. Uh, I accidentally messed up making this, so it actually gets very cold. Uh, I messed up, so... We're just going to ignore that. In fact, uh, let's turn off the uh, magnetospheres. Somehow I managed to turn it into a gas giant, even though it doesn't actually have any hydrogen. If you add apparently too much carbon dioxide, it turns into a gas giant. Well, I didn't know that beforehand, but, uh, yeah. Um, ah, yes. This one is just called Pluto. As you can see, it is a terra world. It has water, liquid water, and is definitely, uh, Habitable for, habitable for life, so very nice. It is the fourth planet from the sun, or Arcturus in this case. Let's go ahead and turn off the magnetosphere for it. And it even has a moon, a kind of Earth-sized moon called Pluna. So very nice, as you can see, very nicely detailed moon, looks beautiful. So if we uh, zoom out here, uh, let's see, ah yes one I like to call uh, to be nuked by Elon Musk Pluto so yeah what's cool is it's kind of like a desert world and it has like some uh, polar caps on it. it actually has some snow on the tops even though the uh, poles are not facing like you know an upward direction it kind of orbits on its side for some reason um, yeah I don't know I, I think it's really nice and I think maybe one day we might even be able to have it over here we have asteroid Pluto which is just a tiny asteroid. Uh, not to be mistaken for a planet or anything. Ah yes, we have not a planet Pluto. These orbit between the uh, kind of desert Pluto and the uh, large gas giant that is in the system. Ah yes, big, big gassy Pluto. Beautiful gas giant, about twice the mass of our own Jupiter with uh, very similar, in fact, the same rings as Jupiter, so very nice. What else do we have here? Ah yes, we have Fancy Pluto. It is a big terrestrial world with uh, Saturn's rings. And it's actually the mass of Saturn, so there you go. That is Fancy Pluto. Uh, what else do we have here? Okay, your Plunus. Uh, I don't know what gave me the idea for this planet, but it's a, uh, it's a gas giant. It may or may not be made out of a small dwarf world that I kind of converted over to a gas giant, but there it is with uh, very similar rings to our very own Uranus in our solar system. Over here we have Neptune, also known as Water Pluto. It is in Oceania, because I figured we needed an Oceania. And it even has its own moon. Uh, this one I like to call definitely not for tidal heating Pluto. So yeah, basically this uh, small moon here keeps this planet warm and actually keeps uh, oceans liquid, so very nice. And way out here, we have a small rock that I like to call definitely not a planet, or just not a planet for short. And it's not a planet, in fact it's a loser. Uh, if you noticed, even its moons have left it. Like, it, nothing wants to be around this planet, so... Like, its moons are completely avoiding it, and it just took off out of its orbit, so... Yep, that's gone. And then I wanted something with a highly, uh inclined orbit so yeah this one's just I don't know how to orbit Pluto so 
yeah anyways uh that is the system i've created uh i was told to make it creative so i tried to and this is the results i got so yeah if you guys have any problems with the system uh do let me know if there's any ways i can improve it do let me know down in the comments below and uh yeah if you guys like the video please leave it a like and if you want to see more videos like this please do subscribe it really does help and i will see you guys in the next one